in January of 2013, filming began for season one of True Detective in and around the New Orleans area. And the final battle was filmed right here at Fort Macomb. Built in 1822 and decommissioned in 1871, Fort Macomb has been sitting here abandoned for quite a long time. Just across the water here is a boat launch that people can launch their boats from and they can actually see the fort from that angle. But from the highway, you really can't see much from out here. It is very well hidden amongst all of the greenery that surrounds it. You can see the bricks right there. That is the wall, the outer wall, I should say, of the fort. Let's go inside. Now, if you've seen season one of True Detective, you've heard of Carcosa. And this is Carcosa, the realm of the Yellow King. This is where Matthew McConaughey's Rust Cole went searching for Errol Childress, the main bad guy, and then Woody Harrelson's Marty Hart came in behind him looking for him. And Carcosa was the place that people were brought in for sacrifices over the many years this was taking place. Look and see, people have snuck in here, unfortunately, and put graffiti on the walls, but for the most part, this place is virtually untouched. It has never been open to the public. Obviously, the place is not dressed as it was in the series, with all of these sticks bundled together and all the tunnels and everything, but you can easily tell that this is where they're walking around. What's through here? This seems like it would be part of the show, but it's not. It seems as if somebody has come in here and on their own just put this together. So in the show, Rust walks out of the tunnel into this grassy area. And as the camera zooms out, you can see a really good shot of the fort itself. This area here would be the spot that Rust walks out of. Obviously, it's not as grown over as it was in the show, but still pretty obvious this is where it was. He would have walked out gun drawn right here. This is what he would have seen, obviously with more grass and everything, but he would walk around and make his way around this corner to go into one of the other tunnels leading into the heart of Carcosa, looking for Errol Childress. And here he would start hearing the voice of Errol calling out to him. Marty would end up following him into these tunnels looking for him as well. I kind of wish all the stuff was still in here. It would make it that much cooler, but they, of course, removed it all after they were done filming.
And if you look here, you see Cole is about to enter one of those little small tunnels and go into another chamber. This is the same spot, this is the same tunnel that he looked into and walked through. When he comes out the other side, he stands up, but the view he sees is not what's actually in this other room. They, of course, use some editing magic, and they actually filmed what he sees in this room. So look at the giant hole on the wall back there. This is the same spot that he is now in. He would continue on through this hole, step over it and down into this next room and walk through another hole in the wall into a chamber that was built specifically for the show. The, the chamber that he finds Errol in is non-existent. That was built specifically for the show as a set. But there it is, the final battle in True Detective Season 1. Thank you.